Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna do a follow-up to the Apu video okay. we did yesterday, the other day, that Hank Azaria, the voice actor of Apu on The Simpsons, not only stepped down from the role after the uh, documentary, the the uh, problem with Apu, but uh, he he went on, a, I guess, an apology tour, and he wants to let every Indian American know that he would personally apologize to them, um, which seems a little bit like overkill, right? Uh, but he said it, so there, you all have an apology, you can move on. Yeah, you do. Well, John Cleese thinks he's being silly. <laughs> he's being silly. John Cleese, a uh, fellow comedian, thinks it's ridiculous for him to apologize for jokes. John Cleese, who's been canceled, quote unquote, many times in the last couple of years uh, for being himself, and he never used to be that controversial. I never thought Monty Python was that edgy, but I guess maybe back in the day it was. But uh, any old school comedian these days is offensive. So John Cleese is like, a poo, you're a pussy. Uh, <laughs> it's a poo. You never want a poo a, pussy, though. A, pus a um, pussy. Um, so you, a poo, you're a pussy. So a pussy's okay, but you don't want a poo pussy. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Uh, well, some people might want it. I don't know. No. We're, we're going to talk about uh, the John Cleese situation, not the Apu pussy. Um, please subscribe for more <laughs> pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 185,000 subs, crawling to 186,000 because I think I'm sure we're YouTube, <laughs> YouTube is up to some stuff. Uh, of course they are because it wouldn't be another day without YouTube taking the U out of the tube. All right, so um, this was on Bounding in the Comics, and I did not see it actually happen right after we put the video up, I think, that John Cleese came out and said, yeah, you're just kind of, kind of, uh, you know, cowardly to, to apologize. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this in the, the comments. You can check it out. So John Cleese took to Twitter to mock Hank Azaria. Uh, John Cleese, who's been, you know, canceled. Uh, canceled right, after he yeah. said, London's no longer English. Uh, he was canceled. Uh, and then uncanceled because he was angry that they they uh, got rid of a couple episodes of Faulty Towers. And he's also made several comments that comedians can't make jokes anymore. Well, they can't. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, and I love the Python guys, man. They're they're savage. You know, a lot savage. of people like the, the Monty Python stuff and they aren't all white, straight, and male. I know. Imagine that. That's mm -hmm. almost as if good humor uh, can stand people, the test of time. Yeah, people can understand nuance. But yeah, you know. Uh, so he took to Twitter and he said, uh, well, first we're going to we're going to walk back what uh, Hank Azaria said. If you didn't watch previous video, you know, he said, I apologize for my part in creating, uh, you know, racism, etc. And participating in that, you know, part of me feels like I need to go to every single Indian person in the country and personally apologize. Wait, wait, wait go back up for a minute. This is because he was discussing in an encounter he had with a 17 year old had never seen The Simpsons. And yes. I said to him. And I'm going to say you right now, I do apologize. The person never even saw it in context? No. No. I didn't even know, realize that yesterday. Did yeah, you read that, that yesterday too? That was not in the, the version. Wait, we whoa, 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 whoa. So he was having a conversation with somebody who never saw it, didn't know the context other than what Twitter or the internet said it was. And then he ha he apologized to them even though they'd never seen it, know the context or anything. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna apologize to every, every, every Indian person in America personally. Like, again, he's gonna he, go to is, is he apologizing to all the Russian people and the fruit bats out there? I don't think so. He needs, <laughs> he needs to get a van and go on tour. It just that actually that actually could be an episode of The Simpsons. Krusty the Clown decides to go apologize for every joke he's ever made, so he gets a gets a van and he just goes around <laughs> the country. It's funny, oh my yep, god! Apologizes to everybody profusely. For every offensive joke. And then he goes on TV right after and then does it again. Yes. And then he's like, shit. <laughs> he gets canceled again. Says the same thing. Oh my God, thing. that would be beautiful. There, we're going to write The Simpsons uh, for you now, Fox. We're going to write The Simpsons. That would be hilarious. Not something they would have done 25 years ago. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. So John Cleese mocked Azaria's apology writing on Twitter. Not wishing to be left behind by Hank Azaria, I would like to apologize on behalf of Monty Python for all the many sketches we did making fun of white English people. He added, we're sorry for any distress we may have caused. <laughs> well, you know, I love it. Um, I always say about, you know, white women, people always make fun of white women. I'm a white woman. I'm not offended. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I, I have, I had a seizure disorder. I see actors having seizures in movies who aren't actually epileptic and I'm still not offended. 
So a lot of people have been having a lot, well, a lot of people, Twitter, Twitter has been having yeah, meltdowns. The handful of people on Twitter, yeah. Because they're realizing that there was a lot of cross-dressing on Python because it was an all-male comedy troupe. Mm -hmm. And we've got an all-male comedy Should troupe. Should we tell them about Shakespeare and back in the day how they used to do plays? Oh, don't do that. Oh, they're, they'll lose their mind. They'll lose their mind. But yeah, so there, there were a lot of... Uh, uh, cross-dressing jokes and cross-dressed characters nobody thought. They did on the kids in the hall, too. That's what happens. You have old guys playing girls. Sometimes you do what you got. Well, there was a show the other day. What was it on? It's a girl playing a, 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 a boy. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And she gets, I like, shoved in a locker. But she was like, playing, like, like, you know... Like, like a, a, a freshman. Yeah, but it's not just a boy, but it's, like, somebody from another country or something. Yeah. And she's playing this. And I was like, wait, how come she's allowed to do that? Uh, I was surprised I saw it. I'm like, how'd that not get canceled? Because, oh my God, that's, that's, you know, that's mocking people. How could you, how could you do that? Mocking transgender people. Yeah, I know. Right. Uh, even though it's just a show. Just I would say, you know, hey, cancel that, but I don't care enough to worry about it. So here, somebody asked John Cleese, uh, what about those Yorkshire men uh, made fun of? I bet they took gallons of umbrage. John Cleese said we sell a lot of court mainly for nursing home expenses. Right. Uh, another, he wrote. They enslaved us for over three centuries and they owe us reparations. <laughs> what about the Romans? Uh, this person says, I'm sorry, we found them all hilarious. Couldn't help ourselves. That makes you all oppressors. <laughs> uh, this person says, ooh, craving a bag of those otters noses right about now. Don't bait the vegans. They don't have enough on their plate anyway. Uh, John Cleese, everybody, John Cleese. Yeah, John Cleese is savage. He doesn't give a shit anymore. Um, and I think more people need to be like him. Of course, you know, he's... Very, very wealthy mm -hmm. uh, and very, very old. So when you're... He doesn't even care. What are they going to do? Cancel me? Yeah. Fuck you. I'm going to die next year anyway. So I hope not. That's die rich said. anyway. Yeah. You know? I don't care. Don't care. But uh, yeah, the Python's definitely... Terry Gilliam got into it with a reporter. The reporter is trying to get Terry Gilliam to, to basically hang himself with his own words. And, and he's much smarter than the reporter was. And she was very, very salty. Uh, you don't... You don't fuck with the pythons. Mm-mm. Because they'll swallow you whole. Oh, you're so clever. I'm not really. I'm <laughs> not good enough to be a Monty Python. But we're going to wrap this one up, I think. Uh, so We're talking about pythons and poo pussies. So there you go. Ow, oh, that's somebody's fantasy. <laughs> uh, we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.